Do you have ripe bananas you don't want? Let me show you what to make with them. If you're like me and you buy bananas all the time, then you know bananas ripen very fast and many times you throw them away. Instead of throwing them away, let me show you how to make it quick. Banana chocolate chip bread. Now what I do with my bananas, if I don't want to make the bread immediately, I like to freeze mine in quarter size freezer bags. So normally I put two to three bananas in the bag and I go ahead and mash the bananas up and just put them in the freezer. That way you can have them for later. If you don't want to do that, then you can just use the ripe bananas as you have them. So to get started, I'm going to put two bags of my ripe bananas in, my, in a bowl, and it was around four to five bananas total. I'm also going to be using an egg, chocolate chip, flour, vanilla, salt, brown sugar, as well as baking soda. So to start in a large bowl, I have my mashed banana and I'm going to add one egg to it. Then I'm going to mix my egg as well as my brown sugar. And I'm also going to add unsalted butter. Now you can use salt, salted butter if you want to, it's up to you, but make sure it's melted. So we're going to mix everything together. And then I'm also going to add a splash of vanilla. And then we'll mix that and then we'll gradually add our flour in. Now I'm also going to add just a small pinch of salt. Not very much salt. Just a pinch. So we mix that by hand with a spatula or a spoon. And as I have everything mixed, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and get a mixer on low speed and I'm going to mix that together just to make sure everything is broken up we don't want chunks of banana in this and then as we're mixing I will slowly start to add our flour mixture now when you add your flour go ahead and add a little bit at a time just to make it easier to stir now you could actually do the flour by hand, but I find it a little easier if you have a hand mixer or you can use a stand mixer as well. Now when I mix this, I'm only going to do one to two minutes so we don't over mix it. And if you don't want to use brown sugar, you can also substitute with white sugar as well. Any kind of sweetener works. Now to my flour mixture, I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm going to actually going to mix this again just to make sure everything is, is all the way mixed. Now when I'm done with my mixer, I'm going to grab my spatula and just make sure everything is folded in. Now I did add a splash of vanilla. I don't tend to measure on vanilla because I, the more vanilla, the better to me. And I use a vanilla concentrate that I got from Mexico. You can use vanilla extract, whatever works for you. Now to this, I folded in some dark chocolate chips because we are going to make a chocolate chip banana bread. And then we have a loaf pan that we're going to spray with some non-stick stick spray. And then we're just going to coat everything to make sure our bread does not stick. Now our bread is going to go into a 350 degree oven for around 50 to 60 minutes. And you want to keep an eye on, the, on your bread. Make sure that it's not burning. 
Now, some of us may take a little longer, but you just have to keep an eye on it. I would check it around 30 to 40 minutes. Now, I'm also going to be making a glaze to go over our banana bread. And this is just a three ingredient glaze. It's real simple. So we're going to use confectioner sugar or powdered sugar. And I'm also going to be using full fat milk as well as vanilla concentrate. Again, if you don't like the color of the vanilla, you can use a clear vanilla. Some people want their glazing to turn, you know, be a white color, but the vanilla I'm using is going to turn it a brown color. I mean, it's no big deal. It's still going to taste the same, but just for looks wise, you can grab clear vanilla extractor or whatever you want to use. And of course, if you want it thinner, add more milk. If you want it thicker, add more powdered sugar. There's no way to mess this up because you can make this at the, however you want to make it. But this glaze goes good on cakes, cupcakes, banana breads, anything you want to use at all. So we're gonna whisk that together real well and just set it aside till our bread is done. And then we wanna consistency of what you see right here. We don't want it too thick, we don't want it too thin. Now when our banana bread is done, you wanna check different parts of your bread with a two pick or a fork and make sure that it comes out clean. So now that it's done, I've let it cool down for around 30 to 40 minutes. We're just gonna remove our banana bread and set it on a plate. And then I'm going to drizzle our glazing over the banana bread. And as you can see, it thickened up a little bit, that's fine. We actually want it to thicken up a little bit. And just drizzle it over there and then you can cut your bread. And this pairs well with coffee or milk, whatever you want, want to enjoy it with. And this can be a dessert, it can be breakfast. I'll let you choose, choose that. Simple as that. Simple banana bread made with ingredients we have around the house already very moist and easy to cut very enjoyable drop me a comment and let me know what you want to see me make next like subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell we'll see you on the next video